Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to get zero ping in Fortnite and how you can lower the ping in packet loss. The solution that I will be sharing will also work for other game on your computer, on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC and laptop. So let's start with the solution. The very first thing that I would recommend that please try to close all the application that are running in the background at the time when you are playing Fortnite or any other game. So right click on the Windows icon and choose Task Manager. And here look for the application that you're not using while playing games, especially like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, any other browser that you don't need at that period of time, better close it, all right? And then next you have to disable the background application. So on Windows 10, click on the search box, type background and from the suggestion choose background apps. The background application page will be up. Now here on the top you will see the toggle that will be disabling all the background application. All the background application means all this list that you see over here. So if you don't need any one of them, then you can simply toggle it off and every application here will be disabled. But if you need some of them, then you have to manually disable them. And if you are on Windows 11, I have already created a dedicated video because it's not simple to disable the background application like Windows 10. So just watch that video and disable the background application. All right. Once you are done, in the next step, we have to make some changes from the registry. So click on the search box, type reg edit and from the suggestion choose registry editor. Then click on yes. The registry editor box will be up. Now here you don't have to manually uh, follow the instruction to go to the path. So you will find the path in the description. You have to copy the path. So just copy the first one and then paste at the top here and then hit enter. So once you hit enter on the right hand side, you will find network throttling index. Right click on it and choose modify. And here the value data you have to type a time f okay as you can see how i have type over here the same you have to type here then you have to click on okay then say copy the second path come here on the top and paste it and hit enter now here on the right hand side you have to create two different key so right click on the blank space over up to new and choose door 32 bit value and this you have to name as, as TCP ACK frequency. So you have to type as it is. Once done, double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1. Then click on OK. Now again, right click on the blank space over up to new and choose dot 32 bit value. And this one you have to name as TCP no delay hit enter then double click on it and again change the value data from 0 to 1 click ok now copy the third path from the description and paste on the top and hit enter again here on the blank space right click or up to new choose do 32 bit value and this one again you have to name as tcp no delay now double click on it and change the value data again from 0 to 1 then click on OK. Now you can close the registry box. And now in the next step we have to run few network command. So click on the search box type CMD. Then choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. The black window will be coming up. Here you have to type command that is IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter. The next one will be NETSH space WinSock space reset. Hit enter again and this will ask you to restart the computer but we are remaining with one more step so we will complete that and finally we will make a restart. So you can close everything now and then you have to click on the search box again type here ncpa.cpl and hit enter. Now here you will see all kind of your network connection. 
So you have to look for the connection through which you are connected or whichever you use. So let's say that if you use the Wi-Fi, then you have to right click on it and choose properties. Here you will find Internet Protocol version 4. Just double click on it. And then here you will see obtain DNS server address automatically. So you have to second choose the second option. Just click on it. And here in the DNS server, we will be using the Google DNS server. So in the preferred, just type 888 and 8. And in the alternate type 884 and 4. Then click on OK and OK again. Now after applying all these solution, kindly restart your PC. And after that, you will find that the ping has been reduced and even it will be improving your lagging and the latency problem. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully this will work for you. And if you found this video helpful, then please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, and I will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.